First, we're going to start off with a warm up, just a little warm up. Everyone's going to stay together. And then I think we're going to do a team, a little team activity. Kind of makes everyone work a little bit harder. Sometimes they work harder for their teammates than they do for themselves. You know, like a little bit of a cardio warm up, some stretching. We did all of our physical abilities, and we, we have everybody do those. I mean, even the girls that. I mean, everybody can benefit from physical business. If they can't do them all, that's okay. We still have them try to do their best. We do that for 45 minutes, and then we're gonna go to each event, and we'll stay at each event for 45, and then we're gonna end with a half an hour of flexibility. You sprint, ladies. If you need to sprint past the person in front of you, that's fine. No cutting corners. Sprint, come on. Get that person, come on, get them. Knees up, guys, come on. Well, I think right now we're trying to keep everybody kind of a little bit on the same pace. Um, maybe hold the elite girls back a little bit more from starting the full routines as, uh, you know, our JO girls, their first meet is gonna be in December. And um, our elite girls and Hope's girls, their first meet is gonna be in January. So it's not that much of a time difference, but at the same time, you know, we're now building new skills, um, adding on to routines from last year. I think one thing we're really focusing on is combinations. You know, they had a lot of skills last year, and now we're, instead of having an extra cast handstand, trying to put things together. Instead of just doing one plain skill, adding a jump to it, that kind of thing. So we're gonna work on putting those together and then as they get them, we'll just slowly start inserting them into their routines, getting rid of the timer passes and adding another pass and getting rid of, you know, getting rid of the timer dismount, adding our full dismount, that kind of thing. So just kind of slowly building up to a full routine shape over the next several months. Handsprings first, turn around Gracie. Arms up, Ivy get ready. All right, I want tall bodies, thighs tight, and go. Back handspring, right up tall, hold, hold. And again, go. No moving, Chris. And tight finish, fight, fight. And one more, up tall, and freeze, Cal, freeze. Good, nice and tall. All right, now we're gonna work together, and we're gonna spell back to school with our flight series. All right? So we're going to do it by group one. Yeah. We're going group one, group two. Alex, can you stand up on that box and you're going to spell out the letters for us, okay? Come on, Ivy. Up, 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 up. <laughs> Come on, Alex. We're done. Good job, guys. All right, swap groups. Good. Pull all the way up, Aubrey. All the way up. All the way up. Come on, pull all the way up. You stopped your chest, though. You stopped right here. Bring it all the way up, okay? All right, this time you have um, three, choose one of your front or sides. You have three front or sides and two leap passes. Three front or sides, two leap passes. If you finished on not your best series, start with a good series, then do your three front or sides and your two leap passes, okay? Nice and easy, Trent, okay? Nice and easy. Foot in, foot in, and lift tall. Very nice, good. That's good enough, you may move on. Thighs, thighs, and tall, good. Girls, focus on a nice finish. Okay, nice finish, nice tight legs. Okay, and move on to your front or side. Nice arms, arms up, up and around. Two lead passes. Yeah. Point, point. And up tall. Okay. Mm -hmm. Left leg is a little bent coming down, okay? Back foot down. 
There you go, Aubrey. Nice job. Foot down. Yeah, that's right from your takeoff, Cal. Can you feel it? Yep, keep it nice and straight. Right arm up. Down. Good, Cal. That's it. Eyes up, Gracie. Thighs tight, Joe's tight. Good. Point and press back. Hold your finishes a little bit longer, Addison. Do not rush. And shoulders down. Arms in. Squeeze. Good. Thighs. Hold your finish. Chin, chin. Shoulders back. That leg. Come on. Be ready for the beam. Be ready. Be ready. There you go. And point. Nice job. Good. Back screw. All you have is new skills. All right. You may use the low beam. Okay. Put that over the Come on, Cal. Good job. Okay. Watch that turn out of that hip, okay? And quick. And quick. You were uh, you were ready a little too early, yeah. But that's good. At least you made your correction, okay? Nice and sharp and quick. Sharp and quick. Come on, come on, fight, fight, fight. Good, okay. No, it's too long. Drive your chest down to your thigh, okay. Yep, just, it's, there you go. Nice uh -huh. down, come on, drive. You still feel it. You're coming up like I'm pulling you up this way because your foot's so far in front of you. Do you like that? One more. That was better, Ivy. That was better. Come on, drive it down. Come on. There, that was a little bit better. Squeeze tight. A little bit better. Okay. They're better than your punching front dog, <laughs> oddly. <laughs> that was really good though, really good, nice job. Every day they start off with jump ropes, they do double jumps, split jumps, just to kind of get pushing through their toes, warmed up a bit. Push all the way through your toes. Okay, to keep your shoulders back. Remember for your bad leg, it doesn't need to be as big, but I want to see good form and square hips and pull your legs down as quick as you pull them up. Add us in your back leg. They have different uh, stations, and they have a certain number of each skill, tumbling pass, drill, to get done in X amount of time. So they're kind of running around getting some cardio in with it, and then um, if they complete it in that time, I take off some time, and they have to get it done in the next time in a shorter period of time. So I like to focus on like cardio in with the tumbling and you know, getting building up their stamina for routines and stuff. And the cardio part done too, okay? Good. No more stretch off the floor, Trin. You guys have two more minutes. If you feel good and warmed up, you can just go stand by the mirrors. Josie, I know you're pretty much warmed up already. A little faster on your snap down. I'm looking for time management is the big thing with this um, assignment. I want them to get their tumbling done, get their drills done, get it all done well in a certain amount of time so that there's no standing around and there it, they use the opportunity if there's an open spot, do that drill or get their stuck back tuck done instead of just standing and waiting. So. With the landing, that doesn't count as a nice one. Good, Grace. Come on, Ivy, smooth. That's better. Good job. Yeah. 
they're all kind of at a different spot right now. Most of them have all their tumbling passes. There are still some girls working on learning some new skills. So that's why I try to do these assignments where you know, it's accommodating to everyone because they can do their passes where they're able to do them. But we have tried some full routines and I would say 75% of them made an actual routine. So I was happy. Uh, they're still, we still work in progress, but they're getting there. The end, Jackie. Good. <laughs> Two lead passes, just do one for now, because we'll do them again then after the next set. Bend a little more on your wing, Abby. Good. Make sure you don't switch side to here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, your stroke probably shouldn't travel so much. Got to push up more. That was better with the bang. Make sure your front leg's up. Ivy, pull your knees up to your belly. Knees, 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 knees. Good, Abby. Good, Addison. Good. Your face is too cute to continue to land on it. Good, Trent. Very nice, Jackie. Bend. Thank you. Good. 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 Don't pull your feet under at the end. Okay. Good. Good, Trent. Good job, Addison. Come on, push off your hands, Ivy. Good. Shorten those steps up. Nice. So. Good, Minion. Up and over, up and over, up and over. It's a little early on the twist. I want to see up a little more, okay? Get down, up and over. There you go. Good, Trent. Very nice. To be safe. Big reach, big reach. Chest, chest. Nice, Trent. Good job. Let's all warm up with Kipcast handstands. Uh, and then we'll move from cast handstands to today is going to be high to low release moves and single bar release move day. Right? And then uh, after that, after we're all done, if you get all that done, we're going to spend some time on some dismounts. All right? Get started, Kip Cast. Legs together, together. Okay. Right. Keep your head in, keep your head in. Okay, out. Okay, throw the bar this way. Okay, open your chest. Head in, scoop. Good, not too bad. Still lean with your head a little bit too much, okay? Good shape. Upside down. You can't bail out on the finish. You got to push away on the finish. Touch and then go. Good. I like it. Good. I'm breaking that angle, and you got to stop doing. It. You got to open the angle. Okay. Nice. My good shape. over it looks so much better a step backwards than a step forward that no, wasn't bad you just looked a little overconfident on the landing okay stay in it Good. Hop. stay pushing the back and now good. heels down nice good
Oh, yeah. Watch, yep. Get up. Right in. Straight on. Yep, a little bit. That's not bad. That back leg, you know, I feel about that. Control a little more. Ride your toes up. Good. And top now. Not bad. Oh, strong. That way. There you go. Pull. Okay. Good. Sorry, that was my fault. I pushed you away. Back leg tight. Okay, good. Pull through a little more. Okay. Feel the bottom of the bar. Bottom. Feel the bottom. Good. Good. Yes, I think you're holding that a little too long, okay? Now, pull. That was better, good. That's okay. I'd rather see you doing it the right way and missing it than catching a bad one, okay? Out here a little bit. Good. Got Good, you're rushing a little bit, okay? Feel the bottom and then go, yep. Up. Good, you're rushing it now, now. Cool. A little better, good. Come on. Patient. Okay, that's all right, that's a good one. Well, I know that one. Um, yeah, the assignment today, because it's, kind of it's kind of a mixed group. Um, we've got kids that just finished the elite season, and then we've got kids that are getting ready for the J.O. season. So we're going to be doing some competition vaults, but on a little bit lower, a little bit softer landing. Mm -hmm. And what do you want to see from them on that today? Um, the main thing I always stress is form. Form and safety. A little slow. OK, you've got to get the hands back quicker, though. I'm still seeing a little bit of a shoulder angle coming on. Okay, you were a little left again on that one. You feel that? All right, get the horse up. Okay, straight arms. And you're a little soft on your punch, too. It's just, it's really, you gotta turn over the round off. Your feet are still behind you a little bit, so you're floating it on and the head's out a little bit because of that. You just cut off the round off a little bit. That's why it was a little, you cut off the round off a little bit. That's why I was a little high on. And tight. Getting caught a little heavy. You're getting caught a little heavy. Okay. Tight, tight. You're a little slow getting your turned over. That's why that board felt that way. A little slow getting your round off turned over. Get those feet down, quick. Tight. Still a little bit chest down in your round off, and that's why your hands are a little bit. Yes. Yeah, it just died on the horse. Feet down. Not straight over the top, though, was it? And what are we not going to do if we're grabbing our legs? Are you going to do a full if you're grabbing your legs? No. Straight over. No. Honey, you got to get your feet down. I mean, you're completely off the board on that. Yeah. And you're still, and still soft on that board, too. You know, it's not a bad vault, but be, that's because of the, the, the round off thing. You've got to get turned over and get those hands back. Do that drill. I know your wrists are sore. Um, and that one there, if you can do it. Down. Get them down. Bam, bam. You gotta be tighter though. There we go. Feel a difference? Yeah. Remember, I'm not concerned about the landing as far as the stick. I'm concerned about the straight all the way through it. Is it you, were, you had a little bit of angle in your hips. The problem with the angle in your hips is if you're piking down at all and you do the extra half twist, you're gonna be on your butt. Okay. okay? I mean, if you're doing a two and a half, I really don't care if you take a step forward out of it. Okay. Until we do the triple. Now. 
It's better lift that chest off the horse. Remember, the, I mean, ultimate goal with that vault is a layout. Okay, hop up into a standing floor right now. Except she's three feet shorter than you. Step down, tight. Don't you think it would be much easier to do it that way? Yeah, a little tight, you gotta be a little tighter on the horse too. Better. I like that better. You feel how that kind of dropped out of the sky a little bit more than you're like tend to do? Exactly. That's the whole goal. Because then when you do the one and a half, you're not going to end up on your butt. Because I want to step forward, not to step back out of the one and a half, so I don't have to worry about your knees. There we go. Okay. That was better. Now, that was actually better until the very end. Nice and easy. There we go. There you go. I saw the I saw the run. I saw the round off turned over. My first words were, "There you go." Because I knew you were gonna make that. All right, we got to clean up. Did anybody video that? No. Figures. We got to clean it up. We got to clean it up on the horse. Okay, because obviously a double is not the goal. It's on the way to the goal. Okay, but that's a great start. Good job. Overall, I think it went well. This is kind of how our practice is run every day. We always have a lot going on. We try to set up a lot of different stations, a lot of different drills, so the girls can kind of be busy and doing something productive at all times. Trinity is, we really had a lot on the back burner for her this season. What she competed was not even close to what she's been training in the gym, which you can see now. It seems like, wow, she learned so much since PNG, but she's really been training that all year. And we've kind of held it out of her routine because we wanted her to be consistent, hit, feel confident, feel sure of herself. Um, I think the big thing that she's going to be focusing on is something that I just told you about, putting things together. You can see how the girls work. They're eager. They want to learn. They want to work. They like to go to the stations and keep moving and getting their drills done. Um, and I think it, keeping them moving like that, it keeps everybody accountable for what they're, what they're doing. Um, so I think overall it went pretty well, but that's usually how the days go.